In this module, we are going to learn about the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm and the uh, different steps of the Metropolis-Hastings algorithms and different issues uh, to implement the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm in R and then uh, random walk Metropolis-Hastings algorithm and its implementations and then finally we will do a simulation study to see how the Metropolis-Hastings algorithm can be uh, implemented and different codes that we are going to generate that may not be you know readily available uh, defined code in R you know we may have to uh, generate our own code most of the times that we are going to do and that that might help you to you know develop your skill to implement uh, Metropolis Hastings algorithms we'll talk a little bit about the convergence and the diagnostics of uh, Metropolis Hastings algorithm In this module, we will learn how to implement the uh, metropolis Hastings algorithm in R uh, under the MCMC setup. And before that, you know, let's uh, recall the metropolis Hastings algorithm. We are given a probability density pi called the target, defined on a state space chi and uh, computable up to a multiplying constant then you know pi x is proportional to pi curl x the metropolis hastings algorithm named after metropolis at all and hastings proposed a generic way to construct a markup chain on chi that is ergo, uh, ergodic and stationary with respect to pi the metropolis hastings algorithm is the workhorse for mcmc methods for its simplicity and its versatility, I mean versatility, unlike uh, accept and reject algorithm, acceptance and rejection algorithm, Markov chain construct a progressive picture of target distribution, proceeding by local exploration of the state space chi until all the regions of interest have been uncovered. The Markov chain return by image method, say x1, x2, or xt, is such that xt is converging to pi. This means that the chain can be considered as a sim sample through a dependent sample and approximately distributed from pi. Due to Markovian nature of simulation, the first values are highly dependent on the starting values x1 and usually removed from the sample as burn in or warm up. If the Markov chain is ergodic, uh, that is, the forget about its starting value, the empirical average that eta t hat h equals to 1 by t, t equals to 1 to t h xt converges almost zero to eta h, no matter what the starting value is. The metropolis Hastings algorithm, the metropolis Hastings algorithm associated with a target density pi requires the choice of a conditional density q also called proposal or candidate kernel. The transition from the value of Markov chain xt at time t and its value at time t plus 1 proceeds via following transition steps. Given xt equals to x small xt generate yt from qyxt and then xt equals to yt with probability rho xt comma yt and small xt with probability 1 minus rho xt comma yt where rho xy is equals to minimum of this expression in practice the performances of algorithm are obviously highly dependent on the choices of the candidate density. We will start with an example uh, of a, uh, say our target density is a perturbed version of uh, normal 0 1 density phi naught is actually in this form say pi scarl x is the sin square x into sin square 2 x into pi uh, phi x phi x is a normal 0 1 and our proposal is say assume a uniform distribution from u x minus alpha x plus alpha kernel then q becomes q y given x is this expression 1 by 2 
alpha into i x minus alpha to x plus alpha into uh, of y. Implementing this algorithm is straightforward. Two functions to define our target and, uh, and the transition. The target function can be defined in this form say target equals to function x and then sin x square into sin 2x square into d norm x and the metropolis function is say x alpha equals to 1 then very simple y equals to draw a uniform random variable from x minus alpha to x plus alpha and then if uniform 1 is greater than the ratio of target y by target x then y equals to x and return y otherwise you know the y would be as uh, uh, would be the remain same of the previous state so this is the two functions that i define one is this the transition step another is the target density so now let's set n equals to 10000 and x equals to uh, say the 3.14 uh, into uh, it, uh, replicate the 3.14 for n times and for i equals to 2 to n the metropolis steps you can say x t equals to metropolis x t minus 1 and normal target is another function let's define is function of x target x by integrate normal target minus 3 to 3 is this just a um, constant factor the integrate normal uh, integrate target minus 3 to plus 3 dollar value will give the uh, normalized constant value to uh, compare the uh, the fit uh, generated by the metropolis so now draw the histogram of x that uh, here and then uh, of n class say to okay, number of class is uh, 200 and then get the curve of normal target density uh, that is norm target that has been defined by this function then you can see it's quite fair uh, I mean quite good fitting over here when working with a metropolis Hastings algorithm the generic nature of algorithm is as much and uh, as much an uh, hindrance as a blessing in that that the principle remains valid for almost very in every choices of proposal Q but the convergence and convergence rate depends on the choices of the proposal if the closer proposal will give you uh, quicker convergence as an illustration let's choose a three different values of alpha say alpha equals to 0 0.3 3 and 30 say so n equals to 10 to the power 4 then x uh, generated matrix of uh, 3 3.14 uh, n by 3 matrix then alpha equals to 0 0.3 3 and 30 then k equals to 1 2 3 for different alpha uh, we will generate the metropolis hastings algorithm and then we will do the uh, aca plot separately for uh, three different uh, metropolis sample that generated for three different choices of alpha and that is coming uh, this looks like this the figure showed the alpha equals to 3 should be preferred to the other two values as autocorrelation died much sooner than other two this indicates proposal density plays a vital role in rate of convergence now we'll move on random walk image algorithm the generic version of metropolis hastings algorithm is the random walk metropolis hastings algorithm which exploits as little as possible knowledge about the target distribution preceding instead in a local if often myopic manner to achieve this the proposal distribution q aims at a local exploration of neighborhood of the current value of Markov chain that is simulating the purpose uh, proposed value yt as yt equals to xt plus epsilon t while epsilon t is a random uh, uh, noise with distribution say g it could be uniform or normal distribution when g is symmetric 
the acceptance probability of MH algorithm becomes rho x y equals to minimum of pi scarl y by pi scarl x comma 1 and choice of Gaussian density as the G provides the ideal acceptance rate. Let's assume a linear relationship between the predictor and the response variable. So we take a linear model and add some noise. The true, true A equals to 5, true B equals to 0, true SD equals to 10, sample size equals to 31, x equals to is uh, the uh, the independent variable x is a sequence from minus sample size minus 1 by 2 to sample size minus 1 by 2 and y equals to actually it is uh, ax plus b plus normal 0 sd so true a into x plus true beta plus uh, normal and n is sample size mean 0 and standard deviation true so this way you can generate the y and this this plot just looks like uh, straight for i mean uh, looks like a linear association the way I assumed. For estimating the parameter in a Bayesian analysis, we need to derive the log, uh, likelihood function for the model that we want to fit. So, given our linear model y equals to alpha plus beta x plus e normal 0 sigma takes the parameter alpha, beta and sigma and as input and we have to return the probability of obtaining the test data above under this model. So first let's define the likelihood by this function. Say uh, I am just passing the parameter, uh, the param is a uh, argument through that I am passing all the parameters say a equals to param 1, a equals to param 2, a, a sd equals to b equals to param 2 and sd equals to param 3 and predictor is the pred a into x plus b and the single likelihood d norm y mean equals to pred sd equals to sd and log equals to true log likelihood will return and then the sum of log likelihood is this and return value is the sum of uh, this val this expression and that will give you the likelihood value the the log likelihood uh, uh, profile of the slope parameters if I see the values of if varies the uh, slope parameter how the likelihood varies so slope values say uh, I am just passing the values of x and then return likelihood cx true b and true sd then the slope likelihood you know see l apply sequence from 3 to 7 by 0 0.05 and slope values comma slope values then the plot this sequence from 3 to 7 by 0 0.05 and the uh, slope likelihoods that calculated by this expression and type L and that will show how the likelihood varies over the different values of uh, slope parameter. Prior and posterior distribution as a second step as always a Bayesian statistics we have to specify a prior distribution for each parameter to make it easy we use uniform distribution and normal distribution for all three parameters I mean the prior can be defined as a prior distribution so prior param 1 param 2 and param 3 and then a priori to d unif and the second one is the d norm and third one sd is from uniform distributions and return the um, a prior plus b prior plus sd prior and the posterior distribution is say uh, return the log likelihood of parameter plus prior parameters out of this and that will give you the posterior distribution density and now we have the the prior and the posterior distribution and the proposal function can be developed as the proposal density is written normal 3 mean param and sd equals to 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.3 so this is the uh, proposal function now here i am developing a metropolis algorithm again <coughs> that function start value and number of iterations the chain equals to array dimension you know c iteration plus 1 3 then chain 1 start value then using a for loop proposal equals to proposal function we get the proposal and then you know 
probable that expression of uh, e to the power of posterior proposal minus posterior chain and then if uniform this less than this then chain the next uh, value is the proposal else it is the previous value and return the chain that's the uh, normal algorithm that i mentioned before and then start value is say 4 0 and 10 call the metropolis uh, algorithm start value and 10,000 burn in say 5,000 then acceptance is 1 minus mean duplicate chain minus this so this will give you the acceptance rate <coughs> some notes so working uh, with the algorithm logarithms of the posterior might be a bit confusing at first but in particular when you look at the line where the acceptance probability is calculated say probability a uh, probability a b equals to this actually un understand by uh, why we do this note that the p1 by p2 is actually uh, e to the power log p1 minus log p2 so the first step of the algorithm may be biased by the initial value and are therefore usually discard the uh, for further analysis this is called burning and interested uh, interesting output to look at uh, at uh, this the acceptance rate how often was a proposal rejected by metropolis hastings algorithm uh, a metropolis acceptance criteria so that can be stored and can be displayed the acceptance rate can be influenced by uh, proposal function mentioned earlier generally the closer the proposal are the larger the acceptance rate very high acceptance rates however are usually not beneficial this means that the algorithm is staying at the same point which results in a you know sub optimal probing of parameter space the acceptance rate between 20% to 30% are optimal for typical applications. So here is you know one uh, ex uh, example that I am using uh, for uh, this uh, the plots actually the some diagnostics um, of the previous example. That if you I mean this this plots this um, codes will give these uh, plots that the posterior then posterior a posterior b and posterior sd and then finally the red value value is is the actually the it will show the how it's uh, generating whether uh, this is the red value is actually the true value then how the different values as generated for that parameter are distributed over the true value and these red lines for all the cases are actually the true value so this is all about the um, metropolis uh, algorithm you know markup uh, might be uh, i mean it is very very uh, important sampling technique for markup chain monte carlo methods we have learned you know, different challenges implementing metropolis hastings algorithm in R and uh, what are the different uh, aspects that you we need to look uh, into before we uh, uh, implement the metropolis hastings algorithms how the how important the proposal density is you know how the convergence can be controlled by different choices of uh, metropolis hastings parameters i mean this particular uh, presentations i guess might be very very helpful to understand how to implement the metropolis hastings uh, algorithm successfully in not only in r but also in any statistical software